Hi guys, I'd like you to meet my latest colony, Fidol Megachephala, the African Big Head Ant. They arrived today from Germany. Now there's four queens in the colony. One of them is going to a friend though, so I'll have to split some of the brood up. This species is invasive. It's found throughout the world. South America, North America, Central America, Europe, Africa, and Australia and Asia. They're a threat to the Australian and Asian weaver ants. They also fight the Argentine ants, so you can find them warring quite regularly throughout the world in temperate regions. Now, this species forms super colonies. So what that means is the colonies start to do a thing called budding. But normally in other ants, uh, the male and female elates mate and then they'll, you know, distribute in the local area. This species keeps the queens, readopts them, and essentially the colonies just get bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm hoping that's going to happen with my colony here, so I'll have a never-ending supply of queens. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, I love them. They're really tiny. The work, the small minor workers are about two millimeters, and the soldiers. Let's just try and get the get look at them. They get to about four millimeters. Queens look around seven, eight millimeters. Look at all that huge pile of brood. They're going to be relatively easy to care for. I guess I'll keep them between 24 and 28 Celsius. Quite a moist nest. Hardest part really is going to be escape prevention. Luckily I'm in the United Kingdom so even if they did get out there's no chance of them establishing themselves and becoming a threat. They won't get out with me anyway. I've been keeping ants all my life. I've kept uh, Fidel Pelidula, Solenopsis geminata, quite experienced with uh, the invasives. But you may be thinking, why would I keep such an ant? Well, you know, I just find them fascinating invasive species. You know, they got niche adapt adaptations for survival, and it's not their fault that human beings have spread them around the world. They didn't ask for it. Amazing. Expect to see plenty of feeding videos. And most likely, new nests. I'll probably need a lot of them. For now, they'll just be, this is a boiling tube, not a test tube, by the way. It's about 150 to 200 workers in here. But yeah, for now, I'll stick to test tubes. Just a basic Tupperware tub with PTFE barrier around the sides. I think they're quite hungry. I haven't fed them yet. The colony in the background is my Componitus auriventris. They're from Malaysia. Where's the queen? Oh, the queen's hiding. Just back there. Can't really get a good look at her. my Solenopsis Gaii colony. I've had them for three weeks. They had no brood whatsoever. And I've looked today and there's essentially a mountain of brood. Work is yet to born. It really terrifies me how fast this species is growing. I, I just keep an eye in six months, see how big this colony gets. I've actually got two queens in the colony. Yeah, I thought I'd share that with you. And thanks for watching. Bye.